This is the iConvolve node by Adrian Poyo found in the Nuke Survival Toolkit under two minutes. The iConvolve node is basically an iBlur node with the Convolve option. So I went ahead and created a ramp here and any area in white will be the value of uh, max value of the Convolve operation of 6.2 in this instance. And then the any area in black will be the minimum size of Convolve, which in this case is set to zero. So if I go ahead and pull, pull this through, you can see that it's creating a nice defocus here. And if I go ahead and take the max size, I can increase it. And again, I can also take the multiplier and multiply that intensity. As you can see, quite a contrast and stuff can be a little bit best subtle. If you want the foreground to be out of focus, you can take the minimum size and increase this so that everything's out of focus to a certain degree. Now you can also use a filter or say a bokeh. Uh, if you buy the Video Copilot optical flares, again, I'm not, I'm not funded by them, so I'm just saying I just these are where I got mine. Uh, there's iris textures that come along with that. So you can see there's a whole bunch of different varieties here. In this case, I plugged in the filter. Just make sure that you have the uh, use input channels checked on uh, when you do this. Otherwise, you will get uh, black information. So once, it's, once there's a filter in there, turn it on, and now it'll start working. So now you can see the different shapes here. Uh, I'll go ahead and ch change it. You can see different shapes we're getting. This is sort of like a half moon type thing. And then finally, if you do have negative values in your uh, bokeh um, or in your filters, you can see if I sample this, I have negative values. And you happen to plug this in, okay? Just make sure this clamp image filter is on, okay? Because otherwise, you'll get this stuff. So if you clip on this, it'll clamp the image filters and then you'll be good to go. So that's pretty much it. You do have the option of turning off the steps to speed processes up like this. You can set it to five or four and and there you go. So again, the shape I have is I just inverted a mask here so that everything is in focus in the background.